Okay, guys, so before I get into this video, I want to give some shout outs to some people that basically uh, won this little contest I had in my last uh, Brooklyn Hall video. And uh, that video was basically what I had to do. What you had to do was guess. Uh, I had some. I had a hint of what stuff I had to. I was cu what customs gonna make, and people guessed them. And basically, you had to guess it, and you get a shout out. So that was basically it. A little mini game uh, thing there that I'm going to give shout outs to. So now let's go ahead and get into the shout outs. Uh, first one is Barbarian Bricks. He gets a shout out. That goes to him, Barbarian Bricks. Uh, good check out his channel. Uh, I'm not gonna leave a link down in the description to any of these guys because it'd be way too much work. Uh, to just give all these links and it'd be way too much because uh, there's like five to eight there's like five people on this list I think uh, next person is Clash Bricks is better go check, go check us down make some really awesome customs also uh, the next one is Sick Customs 21 uh, go check out his channel he's a good friend of mine he makes some really really awesome awesome customs go check out his channel uh, really amazing guy and uh yeah i think that's about it for all the people i'm just scrolling down on my ipad right now i can't see any more people so that's about it now let's go ahead and get into the actual video you guys have been waiting for hey guys bam and this is my custom lego red hood minifigure showcase and guys i haven't done one of these in, in a while well minifigure showcases in general but i haven't done a minifigure showcase in a while now and it's just been forever so i want to apologize for that and, uh, yeah, so, that's probably why I've been getting some, uh, so many unsubscribers lately. I mean, I keep, every single time I almost get to, um, 890, I'm so close to 800, and, not 890, what am I even talking about? Like, I'm not, I'm really, like, close to that. Every time I get close to 390, I'm, like, so close, and then I'm, get, I get down to, like, 8, um, 388. It's just, like, gosh. So, Anyways, guys, I really, 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 really want to do a contest at 400 subscribers. I'm going to do that, but I need to get to 400 subscribers first. So, anyways, guys, if you guys can get me there, I will do a contest for you guys. It will be a minifigure contest, obviously, because no one else does any other contest besides, like, mock contests and whatever. But, anyways, I will be doing a contest soon, so beware for that. Uh, I'll be doing a contest probably at 400 subscribers. Definitely a 400 subscribers, actually. Uh, so, yeah, but basically, guys, this is my custom Lego Red Hood. And without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and get straight into this minifigure showcase. Okay, guys, so here is the minifigure. This is my custom Lego Red Hood. And, guys, I really like how the Red Hood turned out. Um, and I really like how he just, I just really like how he turned out in general, guys. I really love him. And, um, yeah, so without wasting any time, let's get into this minifigure showcase. As you guys can see, only legs right there. Uh, there is some red detailing with some gunmetal. Uh, basically what I did is I did a red outline first and I did like a gunmetal inside that red outline um, and then that, I just left it black on the outside. So basically that's how I did that as you guys can see right there. And then with the, the belt right there I just took a piece of paper and I just glued it to the crotch piece because it's actually 3D. The belt piece is actually 3D so it wouldn't look uh, totally terrible with the jacket and whatnot. Um, but you can't really see it's 3D, but it is actually 3D. I took a piece of paper right there and I just painted on all those details with the uh, silver dots and the lines and the, belt, and the uh, belt buckle, as you guys can see right there. And then you got that little, um, it's like a knife holder. I mean, you can hold a knife. Um, I don't really have a knife at, uh, with me right now, so I can't really do that right now. But uh, you can fit, uh, fit a knife in there. You can even fit one of his Glocks, uh, his, not Glock, his uh, guns. Maybe pistols in there if you guys want me to uh, do so. I can show you guys. Yeah, you can fit uh, the gun in this little holster. See, it's just a rubber band. Um, and you can fit one of the pistols in there if you guys really wanted to. You can do that. Uh, it still looks really unnatural, but, you know, whatever. Uh, we're going to give him his guns back anyways because, you know, Red Hood is not really complete without his guns. So, anyways, yeah, down with your legs. I got some... Um, boots knee pads right there <laughs> as well uh the guns are actually from brick arms they are a brick arms i forgot what the name was but they are two pistols i don't know if they're glocks or anything like that i just flick one out of his hands uh great um let me just get this right here uh, and the jacket is actually just a torso from the malibu mansion set that uh i think it was a guard from the malibu mansion set um, and I got this torso from there, and I painted a little Batman, red Batman symbol right there, as you guys can see right there. Uh, I just painted that right there with that torso. And the jacket's actually just made out of um, cardstock paper, and I just glued on different, like, squares onto the cardstock paper, because these things are 3D, these little flaps right there are 3D. 
and then down here it's like some silver uh, zipper right there and then um, got that uh, the flap on the bottom that actually has the buckle uh, right there as well and then the helmet was actually just a Iron Man helmet that I used uh, which I painted red and then as you guys can see in the back I didn't really paint job on the back uh, except the line the black lines and stuff like that which I think looks pretty cool and it's also a lot weathered and stuff and the black is just kind of smudged everywhere and it looks really really good in my opinion so that's the helmet and if we lift it up um, oh great you know what let's just lift it up by this okay great there we go we have the uh, red Nightwing head which I thought fit him pretty good um, really didn't have to do any um, paint job on that head because uh, it's just a red Nightwing head and then the hair piece I have for him uh, which I had for my older Red Hood, which I just used this hair piece because I think it looks really, really good, in my opinion, um, is the Superman hair piece from the new Batman v Superman sets, um, which is a pretty good fit for him, I think. Uh, so there's him without the head. It looks pretty darn good uh, right there. It just looks really, really good, in my opinion. I really like how he looks um, right there. So that is Red Hood, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy this mini figure showcase. And if you guys did enjoy, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Oh my god, how does how does that even happen? It's just the camera just oh uh, I'm done. I'm done. Hey guys, Bat Mark the Dinner, and this is yet another minifigure show that's not my intro. Hey guys, Bat Mark the Dinner, and this is my I forgot the name. Stop moving, you stupid camera. Hey guys, Bat Mark the Dinner, and this is why do I keep forgetting the name? Stop, stop moving!